Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to take a walk in the rainforest. That's what we call this video because uh, we're going to use uh, some uh, user data that was provided on the Manifold forum. And uh, we're going to uh, take a collection of GPS points and uh, create lines out of them. Okay, we're taking a look, we, we're looking at a Release 9 project here, which we've opened up the uh, Track Points uh, video uh, project. You can also do this in Viewer, it works perfectly the same way. And uh, the way this works is we're going to double click on the map here. And here we're going to control click on the track data tab, dra track data drawing tab to uh, zoom to fit on that tab. And as you can see, what it does is uh, it's showing us a display here of a bunch of uh, GPS coordinates. To zoom in and zoom out, we can use the wheel mouse. Uh, we can click and drag to uh, move the display around. You can see how Bing, which is the Bing satellite layer that's in the background, is uh, automatically filling in, pulling in tiles from the uh, Bing server. And uh, the other thing we can do in terms of uh, zooming uh, is we can uh, right click and drag to draw a zoom box which takes us into that region right there. And uh, these points that we see were collected from a GPS device. Uh, I didn't do this uh, data collection, somebody else did, but they, they appear here in a table. And if you take a look at what the uh, track data table is, that's associated with that drawing, we see that for each line ID there's a, track I there's a track point ID which gives the order in which those points should be taken. That's the order in which they were recorded. Uh, if Manifold had imported this data from uh, GPX, uh, from a GPX file, which Manifold can do, quite likely there would have been line objects or, or something like that that it would have automatically created. But be that as it may, what we have here is a table full of points, and our task is to use these track point IDs and to assemble a line uh, in order. Now, there's a discussion on this in the uh, Manifold user forum. I'm going to click open the forum right here. And... Uh, here is the where the original data came from. It's the track points uh, MXB uh, archival uh, map that was provided by Forrest, and he says that uh, it includes some driving through con through a country and a search through rainforest for rare flora, which is a very messy trail. Now that sounds like a delightful way to uh, uh, spend time at your GIS job, and uh, the question is how to uh, take those points and convert them into uh, uh, how to convert them into uh, lines. And here's a uh, some SQL that uh, Adam W. wrote. We can copy that and then we can go back here to the uh, project and we can put it into a query and that's exactly what we've done here. I've just copied and pasted it into the query. The, the query is already in that project so you don't have to do that. You don't have to hunt down where all this is uh, discussed in the user forum. And uh, how does the query work? Um, here what uh, Adam describes let's see uh, I created a new drawing and a new table and named it lines. So that's what we're going to do as well. We're going to right click and create a drawing called lines, L-I-N-E-S, based on a new table. We're going to make it a latitude and longitude because that's what's in use. Create drawing. So now we have a, uh, a blank drawing called lines. And uh, let's take a look at how this query operates. Uh, the way Adam wrote it, he uses a function. And we use functions. Uh, Manifold allows you to define functions within SQL queries. And you do that for the same reason that you'd use uh, functions in programming. It's a, it's a nice way to consolidate uh, what's going on here uh, into a, a single make line function, which we can then call within the uh, query uh, down here below, and that just makes the whole thing uh, more legible. So, uh, what does make line do? Well, what it does is it uses the geom convert to line function, SQL function, and that function takes a uh, a uh, multi point object and it turns it into a line. Now, to create that multi point object, uh, what do we need to do? We we have these two other functions that we use. First, this geom merge points function takes all the points that are in that geom, and uh, what it does is it turns them into a multipoint with branches. And then this function here, geom convert to point, takes that multipoint with branches, and the false uh, parameter that it uses converts those into a multipoint. We can then feed that multipoint to the line. Now this technique does have a slight limitation in that uh, geoms can be no larger than uh, 2 gigabytes in size in manifold, so we can't create a line using this technique where the line is has more than uh, 2 gigabytes worth of data in it. And that's, that's a lot of inflection points. That's uh, uh, well over uh, 2 billion uh, coordinates in a line. <laughs> uh, so uh, it's not likely we're going to hit that limit, but it just, just be forewarned, if you're, cre if you're creating uh, g uh, lines from a whole lot of GPS data all at once, they're going to have to be less than uh, uh, say uh, a billion and a half or so uh, coordinates to them. Uh, okay, be that as it may, there's our function make line. So how's that used? Uh, here we uh, uh, we feed the uh, make line 
uh, function a table, and we create that table by collecting the geometry information ordered by track point ID. As we looked here in the uh, track data, each for each line, here's line number two. There's a track point ID one, two, three, four, five, six. It gives you all the all the uh, points in order, and that's the set that we create. We feed that to make line, and uh, then make line uses that. The make line function uses that to create a line, and then however many lines uh, you know get done, and they're grouped by line ID. So let's uh, click run. That runs instantaneously, and the result within the lines table within lines now is uh, we create two line objects. One uh, because there's only two lines in this data set. And let's take a look at what those lines look like. Uh, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to drag and drop the lines. Drawing here, you can't see the lines very well because those are uh, those are black lines. So let's let's color them. Let's color them a nice visible yellow. There we go. So now we can see the lines that we created. Like I said, there's actually two lines there. So if we want to uh, color them uh, more usefully, let's do a thematic format where we color them by the uh, manifold ID number one or number two and let's color one of them uh, this orange yellow and let's color this one here bright green update style and there we can see the two lines if we want to actually see where this is located where this walk in the rainforest is located uh, we can uh, dra create and drag and drop a new uh, right click create new favorite data source and from one of the pre-built ones let's choose Bing street maps there's, there's hundreds of these you can use with Manifold, but well, I like to use the Bing Street Maps layer. So I'll drag and drop that into the map. And I will make sure it's the layer below the lines layer. And so we can see this is a, a uh, walk in the rainforest that's on the outskirts of Cairns, Australia. And I'm sure I pronounced that wrong, but it's, it is Cairns. It's a beautiful place. Uh, let's zoom in here to take a look at where uh, forest has actually walked about in the rainforest uh, collecting uh, fauna. And we can see that this path that he took here, for example, in this particular excursion, in the yellow excursion, you know, he walked around in here in the rainforest, kind of came out between these trees, walked in a circle. Maybe there's something he saw that was interesting there. So uh, uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, the interesting thing about all this is that he uh, kind of reports this as if it's uh, just another day in the rainforest. It's, uh, I don't know about you, but if you're sitting in uh, an office somewhere doing GIS, and you're thinking, wow, wouldn't that be a great field experience to uh, go out here and take a walk in the rainforest and... Uh, Australia, looking for uh, exotic flora and uh, its exotic plants. That'd be uh, that'd be really cool. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It shows how easy it is to use a SQL and manifold, uh, and how easy it is to uh, convert data from one form into another, from points to lines and so forth. It also shows us how to uh, color lines, how to use style in a simplistic way, and how to exploit uh, things like Bing street maps images, uh, where you can drag and drop these uh, these. Uh, images as backgrounds that are that are coming in from web servers. Those tiles are coming in from the Bing server, that's why they're coming in so slow. And how we can go back and forth between a, a map display and uh, a visual display pro uh, produced by Bing that shows a satellite image. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it, and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, Manifold.net. See you soon.